Good morning, everybody. It is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead. And today we are going to talk about what to do organically with the bugs that are trying to destroy your hard, hard work. And just like they say, everything wants to kill your chickens. Every insect wants to eat your garden. Today we are gonna focus on four of those insects. The leaf miner, the cabbage moth caterpillar, aphids, and white flies. I am down at my roadside stand this morning taking care of my plants. I still have a few that I have for sale. And one of the things I do every day is I check for bug damage. Now, there are several things that go on. First off, if you have vegetables and you plant them outside, you are living in the world of insects. You're going to have insects. Not every insect is bad. In fact, some of them are extremely beneficial. So knowing what is good and what is not is one of the key elements. We'll look at these four different insects what it looks like to have damage from them, what the insect looks like itself. And then after showing treatment, I will list all the ways that work best to remove that insect. I read far too many posts from new gardeners that say, oh no, I saw a bug on my tomato, I need to kill it. And that is simply not how you deal with the insects. You need to know what it is and know if it's helpful or if it's damaging. But how can you tell if the damage on a plant is from an insect, from lack of watering, from the sun burning it, or from many other things? It is a mystery, and the longer you do it, the better you get at it. With every plant that is getting damaged by insects, the, the hint is to find it early. If you catch it early, you can do something about it. If you wait too long, it will destroy your crop. This is something I immediately look for, deformed leaves. When these leaves are deformed, it's not because it's not getting enough water or enough sun. It is typically from insect damage. Here is a close up of the bottom of those leaves. Those are aphids and they will destroy your crop. only sign that I had an aphid infestation on this plant was that the leaves were starting to curl. When I find aphids, the first thing I do is move those plants away from my others immediately. And since I choose to organically raise my vegetables, my fruit, everything I do, the first step I choose is to smash them. So I am just gonna go along and rub them off. Once that leaf is cleared, I go to the next and I look at every single leaf underneath it. That's where the aphids like to be, under the leaf. And I smash them all. Um, one of the easiest way to smash them is to just roll them in your fingers and keep rolling it until you see all the aphids and all the eggs are gone. Now, once I have checked every single leaf, I go down to the center because another place they like to hang out is on new growth. And so you can see there are new leaves coming. My stem is clear. There is new growth. There is no aphids on here. So this plant is gonna be okay. Oh, there's some right there. So I am going to remove every aphid every day until they're gone. And most of these plants will recover. Now, different varieties of plants are also more susceptible. These are my orange peppers, and nearly every orange pepper had aphids, but yet my others were fine. Here is another sign of insect damage. So if I look at the soil itself, I see a little powdery substance underneath it. Um, I'm actually not sure if those are the bugs, the eggs, or the leaves, but I do know that means I have aphids. 
This little pepper plant is completely covered in aphids. And yes, I do take some and I do throw them out. And I think this is gonna be one of them. Sometimes you get to the point where they are out of control. And if you don't get rid of it, it can easily spread to another. Now, the next picture shows you what happens if you do nothing with aphids. They will take over. Here is another sign of insect damage, and this is a leaf that has been eaten. But look at the rest of the leaves. They are fine. If after a week of treating all of these plants, checking every single leaf every single day and smashing all the aphids, I still find aphids, it is time to step it up. And at that time, I use neem oil. For me, neem oil is the last ditch effort. It is what I do when hand picking does not work. I have seven effective ways to kill aphids on my plants. Number one, I inspect my plants every single day and I squish any bug that I find that's an aphid. Uh, number two, I can blast them with strong water. I choose to do that with my established plants. Uh, such as milkweed or the vegetable plants that I have in my garden once they're planted. Number three, you can spray them with soapy water. Again, I use that on leaves that are stronger than seedlings. I don't feel that my seedlings are strong enough for that yet. Number four, purchase companion insects such as ladybugs. Let them do the hard work. Number five, remove the leaves that are covered in aphids. Just remove them, put them in a plastic bag, throw them in the trash. Next one, plant other plants close by that are companion plants, such as onions, garlic, catnip, marigolds, dill. Insects don't like those plants. So if you surround your good plants with those, it'll keep the insects away. And number seven is neem oil. It is organic, it is safe. I just choose not to use too many things I spray on my plants. Another tyrant in the home garden is white flies and white flies are attracted to tomatoes. Now I do not have any, I have searched uh, over and over, but white flies like again to be on the underside of the leaves. And these flies are tiny, but they lay their eggs on the bottom of new growth of tomato plants. And these little larvae will hatch and immediately start sucking on your tomato leaves. Another way to tell you have them is to rub your finger on it and they leave a sticky substance. So that is something else that you can use neem oil on or just like I said, always start by trying to smash them. You're always gonna have something chomping on the leaves. And this is an example, this is sweet potato. And so if I turn it over, that's the first thing I always do. Turn it over and see if there's anything on that leaf. There is not. So that was probably a random insect or even a slug. Now there is a close up of an aphid on a sweet potato plant and see how he's going for the new growth. Same thing, what you wanna do is smash him. Whenever possible, I like to use natural remedies for pests. And one of my favorites is right here. These are marigolds. I plant marigolds all around my plants. I plant them around the perimeter of my garden. Many insects are not um, encouraged to come into my garden because they don't like the smell of marigold plants. And there's a little fly on my sunflower plant. He is not damaging it. So as I said, not every there he goes. Not every insect is out to get your plant. This is my cauliflower plant. And as you can see, it has a leaf miner. The easiest thing you can do, pull off the leaf. The top three ways to remove leaf miner is to remove the leaves, add beneficial insects, and use neem oil. Every single day, I check my plants down at my farm stand and at farmer's market to make sure there are no insects, no damage, no anything that prevents it from being a perfect plant. Even if it has a leaf that's not thriving, I remove it. Um, and that's what I highly recommend. If you are selling, you only sell the best and the healthiest. 
Do not try to sell things that are not the best that you have. If I find any signs of insect damage or anything else that's an infestation or could become one, those plants go up to the back of my house and that is where I bring them back to health. I often hear the misconception that if you have healthy plants, you will not have insects. That is absolutely not true. Uh, insects love healthy plants. Um, they are going to come straight for them. Now, what is true is that if you have healthy plants, it is harder for them to become diseased. And well away from my market plants are my plants that are in my hospital. These are in the backyard. Some of them, like this one, simply was neglected. It didn't get enough water. And if you put the time into it, you can often bring them back. It's not gonna be something I can sell, but definitely something I can plant. And then again, I have some that are so curly. I know that had insect damage. Um, so all of them come back here and I give them a little more loving and see if we can save them. I have zoomed way in on this broccoli plant. Now you can see something up at the tip, but look at all that damage. Turn it over. And what do we have? We have the cabbage moth caterpillars. This is the most deadly thing that you can have on any of your brassicas. So your cauliflower, your broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, these guys will destroy it. Now, once I have my plants in my garden, I completely cover them with row covers, but these are my seedlings that were back in my hospital area and a butterfly found them and laid their eggs. So the only thing I do with these is completely smash them or they will destroy your crop. The dead giveaway of the cabbage moth is leaves that are chewed on. And anytime you see that, the first thing you do, turn that leaf over and see what's going on. And right there is a cabbage moth caterpillar. And they're this small, they're easy to roll between the fingers. The top five ways to remove cabbage moth caterpillar. Number one, pick them off daily. Number two, use a row cover when you first plant them. Number three, companion plant. I surround them with marigolds. Number four, use beneficial insects such as ladybugs. And number five, neem oil. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. And remember, when you are doing your garden, it's okay, just do something every day. Um, every little step is gonna get you towards the goal of producing more and more of your own vegetables. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye. I showed you some of the worst of the worst, but you know what? There are some beautiful plants out there as well. Don't be discouraged when you have insects. They are doing what they do, which is survival. So just go through, check your plants, and they will be healthy.